you experience racism, why didn't you walk away? That's a really good question. You're a politician. I'm not, you read I'm the not polls. a politician. I don't read the polls. Yeah, you I are sit a in politician. judiciary committee. No, you are, you are I very do, definitely I a politician. No, no, no. The very fact that there were not people I'm who getting, looked like you. The, in, hold on. I'm only halfway through my answer. Is secret schooling happening across Afghanistan for girls? It does. You simply actually, can't assume that. Actually, yes, you can. Hard talk on BBC World News. Hello, I'm Ross Atkins with Outside Source. This is the extraordinary story of climate change. Vaccines for Ukraine. Let's look at some of the international reaction. Tell us what you've been hearing. In practical terms, what does that mean? And let's just remind ourselves, this is all part of the same story. Piece the story together with Ros Atkins. Outside Source on BBC World News. This is BBC World News America. I'm Marianne Mashiri. At the World Cup in Qatar, the United States hold England to a goalless draw. Here's Son under attack. Now hospital patients are being evacuated from the Ukrainian city because of constant Russian shelling. A 90-year-old Roman Catholic cardinal in Hong Kong is found guilty of failing to register a fund to help people arrested in anti-government protests. And the world's longest-running theatre production, Agatha Christie's The Mousetrap, celebrates an incredible 70 years in London's West End. For all of you watching on PBS and around the globe, a very warm welcome to World News America. Well, England and the United States have played their much-awaited World Cup match in Qatar. The result was a draw, a tie in American parlance, with neither side scoring a goal. England will be most satisfied with the result. Prior victory over Iran means almost certain qualification for the knockout stages. But the Americans were pretty impressive in this game and could still make it through. In the first half, the USA's Christian Pusilic came closest to scoring with a shot that hit the crossbar. Well, just before half-time, England had their chance, with Mason Mount having his shot saved by the American goalkeeper. The second half wasn't too different, though, with both sides. Under attack now, hospital patients are being evacuated from the Ukrainian city because of constant Russian shelling. Nurses in England, Wales and Northern Ireland will walk out in December in a dispute over pay, the first time they've gone on strike. And the world's longest-running theatre production, Agatha Christie's The Mousetrap, celebrates 70 years in London's West End and is heading for Broadway. Hello, if you just joined us, welcome to BBC News. We begin with the Football World Cup and England remain top of their group at the event in Qatar on Friday, despite a disappointing nil-nil draw against the United States. They've been defeated on both of their last meetings with the USA in the World Cup, but without a victory or a draw in their next match against Wales is their only way of going through to the last 16. Wales now have only the chance of that contest against England to be able to qualify for the knockout stages after they were beaten 2-0 in their match today against Iran.